Welcome to Holly Sniper EFI Training Part 12. This training module, we're going to be exploring our main fuel table and our airflow model in our Holly Sniper systems. This is a fundamental thing that we need to understand before we do any actual tuning so you know exactly what we're actually accomplishing by dialing in our main fuel table, also known as the main volumetric efficiency table. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at breaking down our airflow model within our Holly Sniper EFI systems. This is going to be taking a look specifically at our volumetric efficiency table in this tutorial, but understanding what's going on in terms of the values that we have in our volumetric efficiency table and how those relate to getting to an injector pulse width or a fuel delivery for our engine. Now what we're going to do here is first jump into our fuel ICF and our system ICF so we can start to take a look at a few different vari variables and parameters that we have to account for when we're talking about our airflow model here within our Holly. What we'll do here is first in the beginning of the video break down all the fundamentals and the background calculations that are going on and essentially how we translate our VE value from our fuel table into an injector pulse width. Then we'll talk about the actual values within the table and setting up the table specific to our application, whether it's going to be force induction or it's going to be naturally aspirated. Let's jump in here and take a look at where we can find our fuel table and all the other associated tables and values that we want to talk about here for the tutorial. What we're going to do here is jump into whatever file you have open and we're going to move up to the top under our fuel ICF. Let's go ahead and click this. Now in here, if we take a look at our fuel ICF, we're going to find that we have our base fuel table. Now this is going to be where we have the basis of our airflow model starting from. Now, what we'll find here is that the table is based on our map pressure. That's coming from our manifold pressure sensor. We have a manifold pressure sensor that's mounted uh, within our sniper system, and it's going to read up to about two bar or uh, 15 PSI worth of boost pressure. At the bottom of the axis here, we have engine speed. Now the values within the table here, these are going to be a percentage value. And we'll find that this represents the percentage of cylinder filling that we have going on within our engine. Now this table represents an estimation of airflow or air mass coming into our engine. If we have a mass airflow sensor, that would be a direct measurement of the airflow or air mass entering our engine. Our job in order to calibrate this volumetric efficiency table is to move our values up or down in the table within certain ranges, we'll talk about that in certain values, in order to represent that estimation of air mass. And if we do our job properly, if we put a mass airflow sensor on our engine, we would find that the estimation of air mass coming from our VE table values here and other background calculations would match what a mass airflow sensor would directly measure. So the big takeaway here is that this table, as though they're calling it a fuel table, it is not actually a fuel table. This table represents the estimation of air mass or airflow coming into our engine. Again, you can think of this as a three-dimensional table that we can move our values around that would simulate the same kind of measurement that a mass airflow sensor would have. Now let's break this down even further to understand exactly what's going on here. So coming up on screen, what I'm going to have here is showing how we have our air mass, the estimation of air mass, being calculated within our Holly system. This is important to understand because it gives you context as to the importance of programming certain variables within the Holly system. And we want to know how all this works so that when you're tuning, things make a bit more sense. You're not just putting arbitrary values in your volumetric efficiency table here. They're relatively specific values that we should find in certain operating ranges and regions within the table. So we wanna make sure that everything is in order and to understand all of that, we need to understand these fundamentals. So coming up on screen here, I have a nice flow chart here that's gonna explain the entire airflow model in terms of the air mass side of things. So looking here, we have a equation. It's called estimated air mass. That's what we want to go ahead and supply the holly. And in order to do that, we need to go and account for a couple variables. So the first thing we're going to find here in our green, that's our manifold air pressure sensor that's mounted with inside of the sniper system. And that it's going to be, again, that approximately two bar map sensor. Some of them will have a two and a half bar, but most will have a two bar map sensor. Now, in that case, we can see that that's coming from our map pressure reading, the sensor reading, which is going to be a parameter or channel that we can always monitor. 
we want to make sure that we have the map sensor calibrated correctly and scaled correctly. We'll be looking at how to do that in another training tutorial, depending on if you're using the internal map sensor or wiring in an external map pressure sensor. Now the next thing we'll find here within the equation, we need to know the volume per cylinder. And what we'll find is when we specify under our system parameter ICF, we're going to find that we have... Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.